Hello equestrians and adventure fans. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. It's time to go from one beautiful country to another. We just rode in Switzerland and now we're heading to Italy where we are going to be meeting a breed in its place of origin. It's a breed that is well known and well loved around the world. Let's get started. This beautiful breed originated in the Tyrolean Mountains, which run between Austria and what is now Northern Italy. They got their name from the village of Halfling. Our adventure starts with some castles and a drive up a steep and windy road, making it quickly obvious why these tough mountain horses were such an important part of this area's history. To help us experience the breed, I reached out to the local breeding federation and they are sending us to meet up with a family that has a long history with the breed. For the last five generations, the women of the family have run this country in. Dinner is delicious and made with locally sourced ingredients. It's a beautiful place to relax before our quest ride tomorrow. As the sun peeks out from behind the Dolomites, it's time to get started with a lovely breakfast and then we'll head over to the stables just a few minutes away. Are you George? Yes. Alyssa, Hello. nice to meet you. What's his name? Uh, Walter. Walter? This is crazy. Crazy? Crazy. Crazy. Hello, you. Hi. Oh, quick home error. Halflingers are easy to recognize, with their golden hair and silky white mane. They are all chestnut in color, with shades varying from light to dark. They range in size between a pony size and a standard horse, with a general average of around 14.2. They are known for their charming character and intelligence. Another breed, another country. I've been wanting to film these guys for a long time. All of today's halflingers trace their lineage back to a single golden stallion named Foley, who was born in 1874. It's time to head out for our quest ride. We've just been climbing up the hill here. I'm on a four-year-old gelding and he's just trucking up the hill. It's so neat, super sure-footed, willing to go forward. He's got the like totally beautiful characteristic flaxen mane and tail. Also happens to be for sale, which I can't think about too much. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
up on the Salto Plateau, views open up to glimpse the Dolomites in the distance, and there are endless pastures dotted with golden horses. It is truly a rider's paradise. do you have? Uh, 100. 100. <gasps> wow. This is my photo. Well, this is more uh, for horses, uh, morphology. Beautiful, uh, yeah. uh, beautiful. Okay. Horses. This horse is beautiful. This horse is beautiful. This is Talon, beautiful. Uh, horse is beautiful. So Copy. many. <laughs> George has a surprise for us and is bringing us to a local mountain hut for lunch. Our horses are patiently waiting for us, and it's time to head back. What was once just a local type of horse that helped farmers in the mountains turned into an important breed that was used in two world wars and today can be found all around the world. These multi-talented horses are popular for all sorts of disciplines, from driving to endurance and trail riding to gallop races, ski joring and dressage. They are used for therapeutic riding and even vaulting. A better question may be, what can't this breed do?
For me, this ride has felt like stepping into a fairy tale, a place where you can ride along on a loyal and athletic horse, where halflinger breeding has been a tradition for centuries. Another amazing breed. A big thank you to the Halflinger Breed Association for helping me put together today. We just got to see an amazing riding school, breeder of Halflinger horses, and also a hotel in a very unique part of Northern Italy. I hope you enjoyed today. I know I certainly did. I will see you all at the next breed.